Well, it is a brand spanking new Sunday. I know, I know. Last night, we had a thriller up in Billings, 35-32. Billings gets the win over Nashville in the AFL semifinals, along with Albany beating Salina by 21, you know, 80-59. to 59. You know, So, the AFL... You know, the AFL Championship Arena Bowl 33 is going to be Albany and Billings. Wow. didn't Nobody saw that coming, right? Nobody, nobody saw that at all, right? I know, right? Crazy, right? Wow. Um, and this is the reason why, you know, I'm recording this today instead of last night because that game went until midnight last night. Oh, my gosh. I was not going to record at no midnight on a Sunday. No way I was going to do that. So, instead... You get, you know, my thoughts and my reactions to everything today. So, yeah, um, Salina kept that, that. Let's talk about that first semifinal first. Um, Salina kept the coast for a while. But, of course, you know, you know, the superior talent of the Firebirds, you know, overcame in the end. And then Nashville Billings was just odd. It was just the odd game. There was no score after the first quarter. And then, you know, things got weird. You know, Nashville stayed in. I mean kudos to the cats i mean they stayed in this game they made things you know look very interesting but ultimately at the end a billings field goal got them to win and that's the best thing you can say about it in the tal not much you know really happened up Duluth beat iowa and then kansas city put, put the beating on those arcs so not much really happened there the ifl some good stuff there. Green Bay, 45, Jacksonville, 42. Green Bay already has a first-round playoff game at home, but they're coming so, so close to getting home field advantage. They, they don't need something more next week. Sioux Falls lost to Iowa again. You know, Sioux Falls having one of their worst seasons in quite some time. Quad City beats Tulsa, and they have secured a playoff spot. San Antonio beats Tucson. Tucson still can't get over the hump. Bay Area beat Duke City by 22. Yeah, of course they did. It's Duke City. And then Vegas, in a tightly contested game, beats Northern Arizona by 10, and they will be going to the playoffs. So we have seven of eight playoff teams set. So basically it comes down to, you know, in the West, Northern Arizona, in Arizona, it comes down to that. It comes down to next week. It comes down to the final week, the IFL regular season, for the final playoff spot. Vegas, Bay Area, Bay Area, I believe, is the one seed. I believe they will be the one seed, if I'm not mistaken. Let me check my, let me check the records again real quick before I say something even stupider. Um, nope, wrong thing. Let me check. Let me check some things. See so, ya. Yeah. Um, yeah, Bay Area is the number one seed. They're 12 and 3, 11 and 3 in conference. San Diego is 10 and 5, 9 and 4 in conference. Vegas, 10 and 5, 8 and 4 in conference. Remember, the IFL for some reason uses you know the conference, you know, games as you know, tiebreakers and stuff like that. Arizona is currently in fourth at six and five. Um, Northern Arizona. 8-6 in conference play, 9-6 overall. Um, Arizona, you know, you know, Arizona swept Naz, but, you know, since, you know, since, again, the conference, since, again, the, you know, the stupid thing is the, the conference tiebreakers, which that needs to go away. Yeah, somebody needs to tell Ty, Tryon, and company, take that nonsense off. That is, that should not be a part of, of, you know, and I get it, it's because of the way things are, because, you know, things are still kind of regional in a sense, but at the same time, Arizona would have clinched already had there not been, you know, the whole conference tiebreaker nonsense. Had there not been the whole conference tiebreaker nonsense, Arizona would be in. We'd have our four playoff teams out west, but it comes down to this week. So, you know, Arizona, Northern Arizona, I'm going to battle, you know, two teams out on the field one more time, and then we'll get our playoffs positioning that way. 
Um, the East is a little bit a little bit more complex in a way, not particularly. Frisco and Henry Bay are still fighting for the one spot. Um, again, conference records, you know, unfortunately kind of dictate things. But, you know, it is what it is. You can't do anything about that, can you? Um, Massachusetts and Quad City are fighting to see who will be the three seed at this point. Um, so let me check my standings one more time just to make sure. Uh oh. Because, yeah, um, it, really, it really should be, you know, stuff like this. But, hey, it is what it is. So let me take a gander. Yeah, both Quad City and Mass are eight and seven. So, you know, they're going to be fighting for the three seed. Basically, we're trying to figure out what's what. We know Frisco and Green Bay are hosting, but is Frisco, who's Frisco going to host and who's Green Bay going to host on that Friday? Green Bay's playoff game is that Friday. Um, I don't know when Bay Area's is yet. I don't know when. Uh, I don't know who the two seed will be, so we can't really say that yet. And then, you know, Frisco's, I'm sure it will be a Saturday. I, I made the accurate prediction that Green Bay's playoff game will be on Friday. So I, I got I got y'all this once, you know, and somebody else said, oh, hey, you know, somebody else said last week, oh, well, you know, the AFL, you said the AFL will be down to like eight teams at the end of the season. I, I, I think I don't remember saying this, but hey, it is what it is. Speaking of, you know, teams, the National Arena League has added three teams to the AIF, along with the AIF president, Brendan Ickert, as part of the board of directors. So congratulations to the one of the founding members of the NAL coming back, you know, the Columbus Lions, you know, coming back to the NAL, and they have brought with them, you know, two more teams in the Harrisburg Stampede. Of course, I interviewed Jay Coble, you know, Justin Coble earlier, you know, this year, and the Corpus Christi Tritons. Um, I did not get an interview with the Tritons. Wanted to, wanted to speak to head coach Bradley Chavez, but that's all right. So I'll, I'll, I'll try again next year. I'll try again next year. I'll try again because I'm winding down on doing interviews for the time being. Uh, Again, I know I said I was going to try and get up on Athletic Showcase, but that has completely stalled. And then there's some other stuff that may be happening that's, you know, kind of stalling things. So I'm trying to wait on stuff. So so waiting on stuff is dependent on, you know, us getting one, one more interview. Because once the school year starts, once college football and, and the NFL, you know, come back, I'm fully focused on college football the NFL. So there is no way I'm going to be able to do any interviews by and so you know in between now and august the 13th which is the first day of school for me that'll be the last opportunity for an interview this year and then you know the other thing is is i'm gonna try and see what i can do about a collab idea i'm coming up with um i don't think you i don't think the grandiose plan i had is going to work out at least this year anyway. Um, but I'll see what I can do, see if I can appear on a certain around the end of a football world show one more time. And I think that will be, you know, during Arena Mania weekend. I'm, I'm gunning for that. So I'm going to ask Mr. Shady about that, you know. And again, there, there was some more stuff that has come out. But again, the NAL is starting to be like the IFL, you know, in a way. You know, where they're more, you know, tight lipped about stuff. And I get it, you know, because they want to be a more viable league. They've had, you know, the NAL has had years of, you know, complete uncertainty where people were like, oh, well, the NAL's not coming back next year. And yet here they are. They're back. Yeah, they're, they're usually, you know, still at six teams. But hey, this year could be even bigger. There, are, There's more coming. Now you're probably wondering, oh, well, what about what about Cedar Rapids? What about what about you know um, Beaumont? Well, you know Beaumont. Keep in mind, I was down there, you know, but that was in June. You know, I was down there in June, but uh, you know, it is what it is. I don't know about Beaumont right now. 
don't 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 worry about Beaumont right now. We'll see if they have the money. You know, and that's the same thing with the Cedar Rapids situation because, you know, the Montero Cedar Rapids and, and at the Bartley Cedar Rapids, the power, you know, there's still there's still some there's still some stuff going on down there in the Cedar Rapids. So there's not there's not even a guarantee that both of those teams will you know, or rather at least one that survives, one team that survives will even be in the NAL. So we'll see, you know, if the NAL vets properly here and gets all the financials, you know, your I's dotted, your T's dotted, and everything else dotted up. We'll see if, you know, Anthony Bartley can get his Cedar Rapids team in or, you know, if if it's the River Kings yet again somehow for 2025. So we'll see. We'll see if there's AFL teams, you know, trying to come on over. We don't know yet. We'll see. If the, if the AFL teams do attempt to come on over, that, that'd be great. You know, but we don't know, or at least I don't know, because I'm not that much of an insider. I definitely done my fair share this year, and I kind of want to just watch from the sidelines the rest of the way. So that's kind of my stance on things. I kind of want to watch from the sidelines the rest of the way. You know, of course, you know, you got your guy. You got the same old guys that have been doing this for, you know, as long as I have, you know, doing everything they can to get the information as accurately as possible and as efficiently as possible. So, again, if AFL teams decide to join, great. If teams from, you know, if teams that are expansion teams from the AIF, or teams that got kicked out of the AF that want to, you know, come back, try and join up. And we'll see if Amarillo decides to join up too. That's another team, you know, from the AF that did not join up. And the main reason that, you know, has been given is they're still trying to get, you know, some ownership issues worked out. And I think that, and again, that's the same thing with Cedar Rapids, still, still trying to get those owner issues worked out, I think. So we'll see how all that goes with the remaining AIF teams. You know, so that would be great. AL is trying, apparently, the NAL is trying to triple in size. So remember, NAL ended with five teams in the twenty after the 2024 season concluded. You're telling me that th this league can go up to 14 teams that quickly? I hope so. You know, you know, 10, 9, 10, 11, 12 is more realistic number, but hey. If it's if it's a pretty big number, then I'm 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 gonna be pretty happy with that because again we need it. again the stuff that I've been saying the entire year is that we need more quality leagues, not less quality leagues. We need less quantity leagues and not you know you know not, not we need less numbers of leagues, not a whole not a whole lot. You know, we don't need you don't need nine or ten different arena leagues to talk about each and every year. We need like maybe like three to four at best, and we're still sitting here with seven, eight arena leagues to talk about. So, yeah. So yeah, that'll do it for me. Um, we'll get to you guys again on Saturday. We're going to talk some WNBA. We're going to talk Lake Clark. We're going to talk, you know, the Olympics. We're going to talk the Angel Reese double-double streak and, you know, everything in between with W as the WNBA is heading into the All-Star break. And then, you know, Sunday night at about 7 o'clock, 7.30, will be the last regular season edition for the IFL anyway at this week in the football. The TAL is still ongoing. Again, the TAL will be the only league in action on the weekend of the 10th. So we'll talk about the Arena League only pretty much on the weekend of the 10th. Well, maybe we'll talk about the IFL Championship then. But we're, we're, not even, we're not even there yet because the IFL playoffs haven't been completely set yet. So we will see how week 19 of the IFL goes. And, you know, if everything goes the way it should be, we should have our eight playoff teams. You know, all set, signed, sealed, delivered, and situated. Come next Sunday. So, until next Sunday, for all you indoor arena football watchers, this is Big Boy Sports signing out, and I will see you all on Saturday to talk WNBA, baby. Take care, and I'll see you soon.